from Senator Rick Scott of Florida from yesterday. I was honored to join the USO today and make care packages for our brave military members in gratitude, in gratitude of their sacrifice and service to our nation. And there's a beautiful picture. I wish you could see it. He's standing with a little package. Did you get the package? It's like, I think it has M&Ms in it and some cookies and some moist towelettes. I, I, I don't even know, honestly, I don't even know what to say. I've been coming down here 10, 15 years. I'm used to the hypocrisy. Christina Keene will tell you from VFW. They, she sat in an office with Mitch McConnell and a war veteran from Kentucky, and he looked that man in the eyes and he said, okay, no. And he lied to him. Because Mitch McConnell yesterday flipped. I'm used to the lies. I'm used to the hypocrisy. Senator Pat Toomey won't take a meeting with the veterans groups. Sends out his chief of staff. I'm used to the cowardice. I've been here a long time. Senate's where accountability goes to die. These people don't care. They're never losing their jobs. They're never losing their health care. Pat Toomey didn't lose his job. He's walking away. God knows what kind of pot of gold he's stepping into to lobby this government to shit on more people. I'm used to all of it, but I am not used to the cruelty. They passed it. June 16th, they passed the PACT Act. 84 to 14, you don't even see those scores in the Senate anymore. They passed it. Every one of these individuals that has been fighting for years, standing on the shoulders of Vietnam veterans who have been fighting for years, standing on the shoulders of Persian Gulf War veterans fighting for years, Desert Storm veterans, to just get the health care and benefits that they earned from their service. And I don't care if they were fighting for our freedom. I don't care if they were fighting for the flag. I don't care if they were fighting because they wanted to get out of a drug treatment center or it was jail or the army. I don't give a shit. They lived up to their oath. And yesterday, they spit on it in abject cruelty. These people thought they could finally breathe. Do you think their struggles end because the PACT Act passes? All it means is they don't have to decide between their cancer drugs and their house. Their struggle continues.